What's up YouTube, Reggie Tech here, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the brand new Spode or S-Bode wireless Bluetooth headphones. And these are a pretty cool set of headphones, and they're for a really affordable price. So let's go ahead and get into this review, and we'll see what these headphones are all about. Alright you guys, so as usual, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the box before we get into the item itself. So, as you can see on the front of the box, it does give you a very nice picture of the Spode Bluetooth wireless headphones. And you can see that a girl is wearing them while she works out. And these headphones are made for working out, and that's why they are IPX7 water resistance rating. So that means they can be splashed, they can be sweat on, and you won't have an issue with damaging the actual headphones themselves. They're pretty much protected by that IPX7 rating. So going over to the side of the box, you do get the barcode and the item description. Going over to the back of the box, you get the whole product overview where it tells you everything about the headphones uh, basic button setup. You get everything about the LED indicator, the power button, the USB charging port, the volume rockers, and as well as the silicone air hook. And down at the bottom here, you do see all the functions that it can do and what everything does, as well as the operations and how to use the functions of the different um, abilities for this headphone set. Coming around to this side, there's nothing on that. On the bottom of the box, you do get some more information about the product, and it does say that it is a built. It has a built-in microphone that it is waterproof IPX7 rating. It's noise canceling. It has stereo music sound. It works on both iOS and Android, and it has Siri voice assistant built in, which means you can just hold on the button and you will activate Siri for her to uh, basically do whatever you say while actually just using the headphones. You don't have to physically use the uh, your phone. So coming around to the top, it just says the Spode Sport wireless sport headphones for the best sound quality and gives a little bit of different uh, indicators right there. When you open up the box, it is a two part box and in it you will find you will find the Spode wireless headphone case with the headphones inside and you will also get a set of a user guide as well as a happy card you know it's basically telling you your user happiness and if you're satisfied with the product and also how you can connect with Spode or Spode on uh, social media and things like that the user guide is pretty simple there's nothing much to it just tells you the basics of how to use the product and what all the functions are once again like they're shown on the back but it also shows you the charging techniques and what's included in the box so let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in this very, very nice carrying case right here. So as you guys can see, it does have a carbon fiber look, which looks very, very nice and, and very luxurious for the price that you're paying for these headphones. That goes all the way around the headphones carrying case, and it looks pretty nice, and it's all held together by a zipper. And once you unzip that zipper, you will open it up and you will see what comes inside. You get your Spode headphones, your wireless Bluetooth headphones set, and they look pretty awesome to be honest. I love the red accents that are on there, and I like the nice silicone grips that they have. They're very elastic, and they have a lot of stretch to them. Also, you can see that the wireless headphones, they do have very nice length around them. So basically, you can use them around your neck without any issue, without them pulling or, or without the headphones struggling to fit in your ear or pulling you back, basically. Putting that down, we'll see what else comes in this little package. And you do get a micro USB charging cable for it. You can use basically any micro USB charging cable. And in the user guide, it does tell you that you can use any charging brick to charge it up if you're not going to charge it with the computer's uh, USB port. And I think that's pretty good because on a lot of headphones, it does say a specific amperage and voltage that you're supposed to use to charge them. So I guess I really do like that this gives you a more wider variety. So you don't have to go out searching for a specific amperage or voltage in a charging brick to charge them without damaging the battery. So next up, we get a couple of different size earbuds here. And I love the design on these earbuds. They really do look nice. You know, they have a nice red inside with a nice gray outside. And it seems very, very durable. It feels great. And you also get a little wire connector right here. And that's going to be able to separate your wires, basically, and give you the ability to pull it tighter behind your neck if need be or just to, you know, keep everything organized. And I think that's a great little necessity that you get with this. 
So nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at how these headphones work, how to pair them up to your phone, and how they sound basically. What's up you guys? So I'm back and it's been about maybe two to three weeks that I've been using the Spode or S-Bode uh, wireless Bluetooth headset. And I've got to say this headset is really great. It's a really good headset for the price. It's a real economic uh, value here. It's going for about maybe $23 to $24 on Amazon. And you know, the headset works really well. The sound quality is great, although I wish that the sound quality were more crisp and more clear but it's not really that much of a downfall considering that this headset does have some extreme bass going on. Now, as soon as I put on the headset for the first ever time, you know, it was set all the way up to high because I'm used to, you know, listening with my Samsung Level U Pro headphones and the uh, Level Flex headphones as well, these two right here. And usually I have to set them up to close to the maximum volume level to actually get to hear the sound the way I want to hear the sound. And that's something that I didn't have to do much with these headphones. I could have it on the smallest volume possible. And the sound quality is just insanely loud for these headsets. And, you know, I got to give that a lot of quality props to the sound quality that comes out of these little earbuds, because that's something that you don't often find for such a great price. The microphone in it works really well and you know comparing it to the samsung level u pro headset and the samsung level flex headset you know i can say that these two samsung level pro and level flex headsets they do have a more crisp and more clear sound quality when it comes to the lyrics and the singing and everything like that um you know they do have a little downfall when it comes to bass although they do have an extraordinary clear and crisp sound they do have a great bass, but the bass is not as loud as these Spode uh, wireless headsets. And that I really do give it a lot of props for, mostly because I don't have to have the headphones up loud for it to be extremely loud in my ears. And that I know that the headset will basically uh, drown out all the sound around me. That's a really great aspect about this as well the sound drowning quality or the um, noise cancellation quality for these headsets is really phenomenal for the price as well. You see the Bose headsets, those come with noise cancellation, which works insanely well, although I don't have a pair to compare them to right now. But I have used Bose headsets before and the sound cancellation, the noise cancellation from the outside world is phenomenal in those. And I really do think that these S-Bode or Spode headsets really do match up to the Bose noise cancellation because when you have them on and you're listening to music you barely cease to hear anything around you and that may be a little downfall or it may be a really really good aspect of these headphones. The downfall would be is that you may not be hearing uh, everything around you you know we do walk a lot you know uh, we drive cars we're in buses we're in trains so to hear the outside world sounds, it's a good thing to hear it sometimes, but when you really want to get into your music and your workout, these are the headphones to go to because for the price, it's really an economically great value for these headphones. And for the noise cancellation that they provide, you know, you really do get that um, great in-depth kind of like you're in your own world uh, when you're working out. And I can't say that I work out all the time, but I do work out sometimes. And when I do work out, these headphones, they are really great. Just because uh, with the Samsung Level Pro and Level Flex headsets, you know, all it is is the earbud. That's it. There's nothing else holding it to your ear. So although they do provide a really good uh, hold inside of your ear, it's not the best hold when you're running and you're doing exercise. And for that, I really do like that these S-Bode headsets did come with the silicone grip that goes around your ear. Now, a lot of people have sensitive skin. I'm one of those people. And I've used headsets that have these, uh, these over-the-ear pieces before. And I've gotten rashes from them. But I've got to say the silicone that they used on this headset, it didn't give me a rash whatsoever. And it really does add a, a much appreciated bit of comfort while using these headphones. And they really do conform to your ear. And as you can see, they really do slide on that easy. All you have to do is just basically wrap them inside your ear. And that's pretty much it. 
while I have them on right now, I don't even know if I'm talking louder or if I'm talking the same uh, volume level because I can barely hear myself, uh, you know, from the echo in the room. And I can barely hear to see what my sound level sounds like. But I think that's really great that these headphones have that great quality and they're really built well. For, you know, for a really affordable headset, it's built extremely well. Now let's get into the battery life of these headsets. The battery life does match up to the paperwork. It does go to six to eight hours. Now, if you use it constantly, like nonstop, just listening to music, it will last you about six to seven hours. And for a headset, that's an insanely good amount of hour time. But let's say you're just listening to your music while you're on the train or while you're at work or, you know, just while you're working out. This headset will last you about a week and it has lasted me about a week. I did do that test. Uh, you know, I did a couple tests between the um, just having music play constantly nonstop, seeing how long the headset lasts. I did standby time, meaning, you know, I'd wait to receive calls on the headset see how many times I can use the headset, leave it on and just receive calls uh, throughout the day. That lasted me about five to six days doing regular normal calls and things like that, receiving. And listening to music on and off, you know, you get about maybe four to five days. You can push it to six days depending on how you use them. And with battery life, it's all about how you use the product. Now, that also goes to, sh uh, goes to say, it's also how you take care of your battery. Now, when you're taking care of your battery, that means that you shouldn't really let the headset fall before, you know, below the 50% mark, or you shouldn't let it die out a lot. You should always keep it charged. And that's a, that's one thing about lithium ion batteries that you have to watch out for. And I really do want to post a video on how to take care of your battery, no matter what the device is. And that'll be coming out very soon, as soon as I get everything set up. As you guys can see, I do have a huge shadow behind me. I'm just using a light that's in front of me to have basically light in my face. I just moved to a new place and that's why I haven't posted a video in a long time either. But I'm getting everything set up and once everything's set up, I think it's gonna be really good. I think I'm gonna be very comfortable doing videos here and I'm gonna be posting out a lot more videos. And I hope you guys are gonna be enjoying my videos. Um, but you know, nonetheless, I really do love these headphones and I think that they are made of really good quality material. They really do stay in place in your ear. They don't even shift. Uh, some headphones, they do have the over the air function, but the earbud slips out. As you can see, this earbud is on an angle. So it being on an angle, it really does wedge itself into your ear so that it won't um, come out, even though you're jumping, running, doing whatever kind of exercise you do. Pairing it up to your phone is super easy and one thing I can say that I really like about the pairing up function is that it speaks to you. Basically, whenever you pair up your headphone to your device, once it's connected and you have your headphones inside your ear, you will hear it say um, connected to Bluetooth device or connected. And it says in a really cool little British accent, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of Iron Man and Jarvis, so I find that really cool. Uh, and it works really well. And when you're disconnecting from your device, it disconnects. So it pairs up super easy to your head, uh, to your, your, to your phone or device, and all you have to do is basically hold the power button that's located on the right hand side head, headphone set, and once you hold that for about three seconds, the headset will turn on, and you'll see a little blue indicator right here at the bottom start to light up, and once that starts to light up, that just means that it's in pairing mode. And because it's in pairing mode, it can be paired up to your device. And if you've paired it to your device before, then your device will automatically connect to it. It shows up on your device as S Bode uh, and then the number of the headset that you got. All in all, I think that this headset is a phenomenally well-priced headset and gives you great sound quality as well as great functionality to be used. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. And don't forget to follow Regitech on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest updates. And I'm going to be posting out some more videos, so you guys should stay tuned and hit that notifications bell as well down below. 
And as always, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to comment them down in the comment section below. I will be leaving links to this uh, Bluetooth headset down in the description box, so go ahead and check them out. It's on Amazon, it's a pretty affordable price, and they have great sound quality for the price. So thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.